And for today's equity trading, let's bring in Temple again. Hello, Temple. Well, unlike the fixed income market, we haven't seen much demand at the equities market since after the election. So what sentiment have you observed uh, this morning? Are they still running away from the equities market? So just like we saw a bit of a bullish trend yesterday in early trades, that's the kind of sentiment we are seeing at this point again. Uh, this morning, uh, in the indices is up again from 0.29 to 0.30%, uh, to actually. And the interest is across the banking and the consumer goods segment of the market because these are the two key sectors of the market where you've seen a lot of sell-off, a lot of decline in uh, uh, share price uh, in the last two or three trading sessions. And so uh, that's basically what we're seeing right now. We still expect the, a lot of traders and, of course, market watchers generally or rally still expect uh, a lot of interest in Dangode Cement given the uh, attractive uh, final dividend that has been proposed by the board of the company. And, of course, yesterday we saw that at about this time the... Uh, share price of Dangode Cement has risen as high as 5.90%, and we still expect that to move forward. Although right now uh, we're seeing uh, a bit of uh, crawling in the share price, it hasn't really peaked as much as one would really literally expect. Again, maybe because of the fears of the uh, foreign portfolio investors, uh, because if they put in too much fund or too much money uh, in early trades, uh, you may be scared of how the FPIs will just come in and wipe it off the market again to then divest into the uh, debt market. So perhaps that's what we're seeing. I mean, we'll expect a lot of reaction. And today being the 1st of March, a lot of traders are also very upbeat. They're looking at earnings coming in. Uh, that's earnings for 2018 calendar year. And to see how that will then further shape the trading day, Chimese. All right, now, so looking at the month of February that has just ended, how would you say the market has performed generally? I'm sure you must have spoken to some of the traders. So what are they saying and what is their outlook for the new month? I think uh, because of the uncertainty that they clouded the month of February, uh, the numbers may not be too good. Again, you recall that it started, I had a slow start to February. And then along the line, we saw traction at a point. We saw that a lot of FPIs came back to the market, interest in the banking names and the consumer goods segment, which are the key sectors to watch. And of course, a little bit in the oil and gas segment of the market. But the moment the election was done, we saw a lot of sell-off. I mean, this week alone, we've seen uh, close to 3%, if not more, of losses in the market. And so that will explain the kind of sentiment that the month of February offered a lot of investors, especially the local investors, and in fact those FPIs, because uh, they had expected uh, something, but uh, I think it went the other way in terms of uh, the whole uh, expectations, basically, that they have. But then, so we just have to uh, keep fingers crossed, as you used to say as well, <laughs> just, and that's how traders are. Uh, you know, sitting on the fence watching at this point. So, so for the month of March, uh, there should be so much of a bullish trend because, again, there are so many domestic investors who have keyed into uh, stocks that have good fundamentals, uh, dividend-paying stocks, to see how that will, you know, bring them some good appreciation, uh, some good, uh, 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 you know, income in the month of March. A lot of the uh, companies that have declared their uh, close period, you know, in the month of February, will now start releasing their earnings. And of course, in the month of March, we expect the extraordinary general meeting of um, Access Bank and, of course, Diamond Bank to hold. I think that is scheduled for the 15th of March. So uh, there's so much expectation in this month. There's the release of earnings that a lot of investors are waiting for. In the banking sector, for example, only Zenit Bank has released its earnings. Uh, Guarantee Trust Bank, Access Bank, are some of the key banks, and of course, United Bank for Africa, which is currently holding an event in London. You know, these are companies that a lot of investors are really waiting to see what their earnings will uh, uh, bring for the market, and of course, they can have more income in the system. Chimeze. Yes, Temple, I will continue to say, let's keep our fingers crossed. Well, hang in there. We'll get back to you later fingers on our crossed. sister show to give us more details on what's happening in the market today. Thank you, Temple. 
And that's a wrap on the show for today. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Chimizie Obi Iwago.